Hello, sports, and I would assume football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm back with a special Thursday edition of my NFL picks because on Tuesday this week, I put up a uh, World Series preview video. And by the way, you should go check it out. Very entertaining video. But anyway, that was the Tuesday video. So the Thursday video is this one, the picks for this week for the NFL. Now, uh, last week, I, I did okay. I, I think I did all right last week. I was 9-5 and five in the 14 games, which is pretty good. Um, although there were, again, some upsets. The Commanders beating the Packers. My Bears somehow beating the Patriots up. And, uh, yeah, so there was a few uh, upsets last week, which um, could have made me a lot better this week than, or this past week than 9 and 5. But, you know, I'll take it, 9 and 5 in week 7. But these are the week 8 picks. Going into week 8, I am 64 and 44 for the 20. 22 season, which is putting me inching very much closer to 60% correct on the year. I am at, actually at 59.3% correct so far through seven weeks. And so I'm hoping for a big week this week, which is Halloween week. Basically, I think Monday is like Halloween. So. Um, no, I'm not going to try to do that. But anyway, um, so we'll see how we do this week. Um, and we're going to start off with the Thursday night football game, which is on 1027, October 27th. And that's going to be the Ravens and the Bucks. So here you go. This is the Ravens and the Bucks right here. And uh, both of these teams have been uh, inconsistent and hard to predict. This game is in Tampa Bay, but you know what? I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens, quote the Raven, nevermore. I'm taking the Ravens, although that's really a questionable pick, but really taking the Buccaneers would be a questionable pick, too, with the way they've been playing. Tom Brady doesn't look like his heart is into it. Lamar Jackson is, wants more money than God and apparently wouldn't be earning it. So I don't know. But I'm just going to go with the Ravens on the road to beat Tampa Bay because Tampa Bay, I don't know. They just look like they've almost given up on the season. That will start us on the Sunday game, Sunday the 30th of October. And... Uh, the first of those games is the Broncos at the Jaguars. And I think this game is in England. I, I think that's what I've been hearing. Um, in this game, I am going to go with, again, this is two teams. Been very disappointing. They're all over the board. You don't know what to think of either one of them. I, but, um, and really, neither team is really a home team if this is in England. But I am going to go with the Jaguars. I think the Jaguars are a little better, a little bit more polished than uh, the Broncos. Not that that's saying anything, because it really isn't. But um, I would I would go with the uh, with the Jags in that game. Next one you got is the Dolphins at the Lions, and the Lions seem to have just fallen off a cliff in the last few weeks. And uh, the Dolphins have Tua back, and probably he's getting back into the swing of things. So I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Let's take the Dolphins to beat the Lions. Get them out of here. Next one we have is the uh, Panthers at the Falcons. And I'm going to surprise you here a little bit. Or maybe I'm not because, again, this is two crappy teams going up against each other. Uh, but I am going to take the Falcons because they're at home. So let's take the Falcons over the crappy Panthers. 
although with that JP, that JP guy that they've got that the um, that the Panthers have at quarterback now, JP Walker, maybe his name is, doesn't look too bad. But I'm still going to go with the Falcons slight edge only because they're at home. Next one we have is the Cardinals at the Vikings. And uh, right now, the Vikings are, I believe they're 5-1 and one on the year. And they are leading the NFC North. And uh, the Cardinals have had their share of not looking very good this season. Whereas the Vikings have looked good most of the year, I think, so far. So I'm going to go with the Vikings in that game. Take the Vikings over the Cardinals. That brings us to another NFC North matchup, and that's going to be the Bears on the road in Dallas. Yes, my Bears last week did quite well, beating up on the Patriots. And you know what? I'm going to go with the Bears. I'm going to go with the Bears, even though this game is in Dallas, because the Bears, hey, they were on the road in New England last week, and they beat them. And I think the Bears and uh, Eberflus, or whatever his name is, the head coach of the Bears, I think they've stumbled on to a game plan that um, accentuates the talents of uh, um, Justin Fields. And I think they know how to use him now. I wish it hadn't taken seven weeks to stumble on to how to use him, but I think they finally figured it out. And if they use him correctly, who knows? Plus, Dallas is Dallas. I mean, you know, they have all this talent. Every year they have all this talent coming out their buttholes. But they're still, you know, they play down to their competition. They play worse than you would expect them to play. They um, lose games that you would ex expect that they should win. That's, I mean, that's the Dallas way. And I'm counting on it this week against the Bears. The next one we've got is the Raiders going in to play the Saints. And in this one, I am going to take the Saints. The Saints are at home. They've got to get things turned around here quickly. So I think that they're, uh, well, they're going to do it. And the Raiders have not looked good at all. They really have not looked good at all. What do they got? Well, like one win, maybe two, but I think it's maybe two. They look terrible. So have the Saints, but the Saints are at home. Now we have uh, the next one up is the Battle of Pennsylvania. And that's going to be the Steelers and the Eagles in case there's anybody out there who's geographically challenged that's watching this. And uh, come on, we're going to go with the Eagles. The Eagles are undefeated so far. The Steelers have had their issues. Who knows who the quarterback is, Pickett or um, or Trubisky. And really, really, is either one of those guys going to beat that Eagles juggernaut? Probably yes, because I just said the Eagles would win. But anyway, I got to do that. I got to take the Eagles. The next one we have is the Patriots, who've looked terrible, going into New York to play the Jets, coming off that terrible game against the um, Bears this past week. But this is a Belichick team. This is Belichick and the Jets, although I have decided that the Jets are a fairly decent team, or at least they're getting there, they've suffered some key injuries that are going to hold them back, I think, and I'm going to go with the Patriots over the Jets in New York. Don't really want to do it. Lord knows I don't want to do it, but I am. The next one you got is the Titans going in to play the Texans. And yeah, the Titans should win this one. I would say let's hope they do, but I really don't care one way or the other. But they should win that. The next one you got is the Giants are going to Seattle to play that upstart Seattle team that's winning right now, the NFC West. Yes, you heard it here. Probably not first, but they are on top of the NFC West, which is incredible. 
And the Giants have been having a Cinderella season so far. But I think the clock is about to strike midnight. And we're going to go with the uh, Seahawks. The Seahawks are at home. They've got the 12th man. They've got, um, you know, that quarterback that took over for um, Russell Wilson uh, playing well. And uh, they have, uh, there's some guy up there that's busting out. I forget his name. But anyway, um, they are maybe, maybe, I don't know, Walker? I don't know. But anyway, they are, they're playing way over their heads, way better than anybody expected them. And uh, they're winning their division right now. And I think at home, you got to take them over the Giants. The next one we have is the Commanders going in to play the Colts. Now, Matt Ryan is not playing in this game for the Colts, nor will he be playing the rest of the season for the Colts. In fact, their backup now is Nick Foles, and they're going to be playing um, some guy, Ellinger, Erlinger. I don't know what his name is exactly, but anyway, um, and so the Colts are a mess. And uh, even though the Commanders are on the road, they got Heineke back. Heineke is back in the helm because of the fact that Wentz is injured. And I am going to take the Commanders. Take the Commanders to take a commanding lead against the Colts and hold it and go on to beat them. Actually, I don't know if that sequence of events is going to happen at all, but I think the Commanders will win the game. Uh, the next one is the... Uh, Rams taking on the 49ers. Now, both of these teams, again, disappointing, inconsistent. Nobody knows what to think. Um, and the 49ers are on the road. But I'm going to go with the 49ers. Let's take the 49ers to beat the Rams. This is one of those games that I would have just eyeballed it in previous weeks, and I would have said the Rams are going to win. And so I said, for that reason, let's not do that. Let's go the other way and take the 49ers. That brings us to the Sunday night game. Now, the Sunday night game, if you saw the command, the aforementioned commanders last week taking down Green Bay, you know what's going to happen in this game. You've got the Bills, who are out for blood, going up against the Packers, who look very uninterested in playing football this year. So we're going to go with the Bills. Let's take the Bills, and I'm taking the Bills big. I don't care what the spread is. I'll take the spread. You're going to take the Bills over the Packers. And that, again, is the Sunday night game in Week 8. And that brings us to Monday night football. And Monday night football is the Battle of Ohio. Again, if you're geographically challenged, that's Cincinnati versus Cleveland. And uh, in this one, even though the Bengals are the defending AFC champions, even though Burrow has been coming on like wildfire lately, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw all that out the window, and I'm going to go with the Browns at home. Take the Browns at home against the Bengals. That's how I'm doing it, and that's how I see it. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think of my picks? Be sure to leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Do the whole nine yards. Send it to people. Love my picks videos to get out. Very inconsistent with the views. So let's, you know, let's get it going. Let's pick it up. Let's pick up the pace. Like, you know, like my um, drill instructors used to say in Navy boot camp. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am signing off.